I'm Nicole and welcome to my exhibition. Yeah, so for this exhibition, what I've done is collect a couple of my friends and I gave them canvases and I instructed them to do abstract paintings on each one of them. No other instructions other than just do what your heart desires. Afterwards, I collected those paintings and pictures of them in semi or nude as whatever pose they wanted. And I used those pictures and I used the abstract underneath and I matched the color scheme, the composition, and I pushed them further with the addition of the nude portrait on top, making a unifying piece together using their artwork and then my artwork together. Not necessarily. Every piece plays to their own ideas and themes. So because it's collaborative, I looked at their abstracts and I made, I didn't get a description about what they were trying to do with their abstracts. So I had to come to my own conclusions. And based on those conclusions, I would play with their figure and how I want to push that or change it completely. And now I've completely avoided using descriptions on any of these pieces. So now it's up to the audience to make their own analysis. Now that this is hanged up, I feel like it looks much nicer because you see the shining parts of it really nicely. So the sheen. Because uh, my friend has really interesting scarring on his back. And so I really wanted to try and capture that. And I think the shine paint really... <laughs> to play a lot with composition and changing things around to make it work to what I'm trying to accomplish. And so it's a lot of playing with what you got and having to work with what you have because I didn't get a blank canvas letting me do whatever I want. I got a done canvas and I still have, I have to work with that. So if there's random bumps there, I have to somehow incorporate that figure nicely despite there being already so much going on. This one there's multiple figures going on because I had multiple references. So while I might look at first, like there's one figure on a swirly background. In the background itself, there's legs and hands and faces, and they all connect together. So this is the leg of multiple figures rather than just one. Um, it's more of a recent change that I've started doing it formally, but I always disliked having to explain my work. I thought my work speak, spoke very well for itself. Sometimes I enjoy explaining my work when it's my own and there's a lot more going on. But for some of them, sometimes they're really simple and sometimes they're very complex. And so I just like hearing what other people think of the work because sometimes they'll go to leaps and bounds to come up with a description of what the piece is when I was just like, oh, it just looks pretty. <laughs> or the theme was more simplistic. <laughs> I like it. Um, I want to make people uncomfortable. I feel like being comfortable is not good. Um, I'm not trying to like change people's point of view necessarily, but you should be a little bit uncomfortable, especially at a university campus, you're here to learn. And how do you learn without being a little bit uncomfortable? For both my friends who have to push themselves out of their normal comfort zone, being fully clothed all the time and pushing themselves to see themselves as beautiful, see themselves as models. And then for people coming by going like, Oh, I've only, I never knew you could use nude models for a painting at school, right? Pushing those boundaries a bit further. I always enjoy.